everything's fine. I'm back on my meds and no damage was done. Uncle Max, you wouldn't let me go home if I wasn't ready. Anyway, how's Emma? Okay, tell the sitter that I will be there shortly. Okay, I'll see you soon. doing here? Oh, uh, Jason did that. Oh, so you're here because of Jason? <sighs> I would like to hear everything about you. <sighs> really? Yes, tell me everything. What's going on? Okay, well, there's this doctor, this crazy doctor, Lisa Nile. She drugged me, she, she took me to this cabin, and, well, I, I I tried to get away, and I fell into this well, and I trapped myself, well, uh, and that's why I'm here. What it you, sounds crazy, right? What are you talking about? You, you don't end up in the bottom of wells. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... Yeah, Lisa and Patrick dated in college, and when I was in Africa, they slept together. I'm so sorry. I don't know if it makes it better or worse that she's crazy. Anyway, she wanted to kill herself. I guess I should feel sorry for her, but I don't. Well, I don't either. Where is she right now? Shady Brook, getting a psych evaluation, probably on her way to prison for the criminally insane. Anyway, when I was in the well, I saw Stone. I mean, I talked to him. I know that he wasn't really there, but I had him back for a little while. Well, I understand that. You see him, Stone? Yeah, there's never anything or anyone like your first love. Ever. Mm. Stone was a, a, a vision or a dream, but he helped me. He helped me hold on for Emma. And he also made me realize that blaming Patrick for everything isn't necessarily a good thing. That I need to understand what went wrong. And well, sure, but what went wrong is some crazy woman seduced your husband. Yeah, but let's be honest. Patrick was not marriage material. I knew that from the beginning. Yeah, but he's still responsible for what he did. Anyway, who cares okay. about Patrick? It just uh, tell me. What, I want to hear how you feel. How do I feel? Yeah, I'm sad. I'm I'm confused. Before I went to Africa, I spent a lot of time thinking about Stone, and I I, I shut Patrick out. Yeah, but he, uh, it's still his fault too. I know, but there's always two sides to every story. Hmm. No, I can't stand him already. I couldn't stand him at first either, but you know what? Patrick is a good father. And just because we love each other doesn't mean that we should spend the rest of our lives together. Can we just, can we just not talk about this right now? Yeah, you know, I have a really, really good idea. Let's what? talk a lot about me. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. I missed you a lot. You know, I'm so sorry I didn't stay in touch. You know, I, you know I'm so bad it's, at that. It's okay. It's fine. You're here now. I just don't know why, and I don't know what it has to do with Jason. That doesn't have anything to do with Jason. It's just I had some security problems in Rome and, you know, my partner, Suzanne, that woman who runs ASAC, she uh, panicked. So I still have Jason down as my emergency contact. Well, that's sweet that you still depend on Jason in that way. No, it's not sweet. He came to Rome and he dragged me back here against my will. Well, then you must really be in trouble because Jason doesn't overreact. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna be fine. Jason's gonna catch this guy and then, uh, I'm gonna go back to Rome. I can't stay here. It's too many memories. Wait, I don't know. Well, you met Suzanne in Africa, so you know what she's like. Yeah, I just met her while she was steering you off for the car. She seemed pretty reasonable. She isn't. Were these incidents, were they... Were they attacked? No, you know what? It's it's nothing for you to worry about. Jason is protecting me. It's gonna be fine. He's good at that. Yeah. I'm just I'm staying with him. And I'm not allowed to go anywhere without bodyguards. And uh he says he's gonna get this guy and then I can go back to Rome. I do love living there. <laughs> can you come visit? You and Emma, please, yes. or you can come live with me. Oh, oh. <laughs> we'll come visit. But I'm so happy you're here. I'm worried about you, though. No, no, don't worry about me. 
Jason is the best. Bodyguard. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> oh, believe me, I would never get involved with your relationship with Jason. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, I'm, I'm sorry. There's no relationship <laughs> with Jason. <gasps> you remember this. You cannot have a relationship with somebody who never listens to you and orders you around all the time. Okay, well, then I just have one more question. What? Have you seen Sonny? Well, who do we have to reach to get the case closed? Just find a way, Diane. Thank you. Well, well, well. Seems it's business as usual. I'm sorry, Jax. I'm busy right now. Well, I'll keep it brief. Okay. Brenda's in town. Leave her alone. I saw Sonny in Rome. How did that happen? I don't know. How did that happen? He said he got my email and my phone number from me. <laughs> Saw him, it seemed like we'd been away from each other for hours rather than eight years. So you got along? It was really good. We talked and we said goodbye. And um, that was it. I actually didn't think I was going to see him again. But here you are, you're back in Port Charles. I went over there right away to tell him I was going to be here for a while and that I was going to avoid him for all the right reasons. And Sunny a bottle of champagne and tells me that he thinks maybe we can get it right this time. Well, maybe you can. I mean, is that what you want? I don't know what I want. I know what I don't want. I don't want to get hurt again, and that's what always ends up happening. That's what happened before. I mean, for reasons that no longer apply. You're free now, so is he. Maybe... It'll actually work out this time. Do you know how many times I've cried over Sonny? I mean, strung out, curled up in a ball, can't eat, can't sleep, can't move, and then finally just, I don't feel anything over anything. Maybe he was too much for you before. Or maybe you actually needed time away to grow up, figure things out. You've done so many wonderful things with your life. Maybe you're ready now. When she gets so smart. Brenda's built a good life for herself. The decency not to dismantle it. You see, here's what happened. I came home yesterday. Brenda was in my home, okay, waiting for me. And we, you know, we had champagne, we chatted, and very nice. Yes, it's always nice until the bullets stop flying, isn't it? What are you doing here? Aren't you married? Or off again? On again? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> is, is, does Carly know where you're at? Oh, I'm a fool. Yes, yes, yes. Because here, here I thought that, you know, with everything your kids have been through lately, mm -hmm. that maybe, just maybe, you're ready to take some responsibility. To realize that you are an ongoing threat. I thought maybe you were willing to put Brenda's welfare first. Let me give you a word of advice. I know this is hard for you, okay? But you go home, and you take care of your wife, and I'll do my best to take care of Brenda. <sighs> Look, I just can't even... <laughs> what are you doing here? Checking out your accommodations. Hmm. Not too shabby. A little eccentric. Did something else happen? Well, it's a good thing Jason got you out of Rome when he did. Your entire apartment was trashed, right down to the light bulbs. And the same with your hotel suite. I hate to think what would have happened if you had been there. Did I lose everything? I'm sorry. These people mean business. Is it Balkan? Who else? You have to be extra careful. Even while you're here in Port Charles, you <clears throat> follow Jason's rules and you don't go anywhere without a bodyguard. 
guess there's no rush to get back to Rome now, is there? <sighs> I'm really sorry, No, Brenda. no, don't be sorry. I mean, look, if it wasn't for you, Jason wouldn't have dragged me back here, and... Apparently, I'm safe here. <clears throat> Where are you going? Uh, I, I have to go visit a friend. Um, I'll, I'll see you later. You look hot, by the way. Jason will be happy to see you. You okay? Okay. Yes, almost fully recovered. I was actually just on my way home to see my daughter. I plan to spend the rest of the day being grateful for Emma and my family. Grateful for old friends. You saw, you saw Brenda? I did. Uh -huh. <laughs> she stopped by the hospital when I was leaving. She doing okay? Well, she's in trouble. I mean, she's in Port Charles with Jason. Yeah. Jason's dealing with it. She's uh, Brenda's going to be uh, under 24 hour guard. Yeah, I don't know. She's still in love with you. Are you having second thoughts about us reconnecting? That's why you, you came here to talk to me to tell me to mm -hmm. stay away from Brenda. No, I came here to tell you the opposite. I think you should go for it. You and Brenda are both dear friends of mine. Mm -hmm. I love you both. I want you to be happy, and you were never happier than when you were together. When we weren't destroying each other. Sonny, that was before. That was, that was before your bipolar disorder was diagnosed. And I have to say, looking back, Brenda was pretty immature. She's a lot stronger now. Yeah, because I'm not in her life. And you still love her. And I'm telling you, she is not over you. So you think I should go for it? Love doesn't always last forever. Sometimes it falls apart. Mm -hmm. But you and Brenda have a chance. Don't assume that you'll have another one. It's open. Okay. Yeah.